Capital Online TV. My name is Anit Nderu and these are the stories making headlines today. Muslim clerics have called on the government to lift the curfew in Northeastern for the month of Ramadan. The clerics say failure to do so will hinder them from practicing the tenet of community by eating together when they break the fast at sundown. Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet imposed a dusk to dawn curfew on Mandara, Wajir, Tana River and Garissa following the Garissa College University terror attack that left 148 people dead. Former President Mwai Kibaki has called on Kenyan exporters to take advantage of the Swiss market in order to ensure a fairer balance of trade between the two nations. Kibaki says the two nations have a long history of cooperation, particularly in the tourism sector, and Kenyans should therefore target the Swiss market for the high-value exports. He made the call when he hosted Swiss ambassador to Kenya, Jacques Bitelou, at his Nyari office. The U.S. will put the image of a woman in an American banknote for the first time in over a century, breaking the lock the white male politician heroes have had on the greenback. The U.S. Treasury announced on Thursday that a yet unchosen woman, likely a champion for our inclusive democracy, will feature on the $10 note for 2020, replacing Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury. Only twice before have women featured on the U.S. paper currency. Martha Washington, the wife of First President George Washington, was on $1 bills in the 1880s and 90s. Pocahontas was featured in a group of people on banknotes in the 1860s. Chad on Wednesday banned the full-face Muslim veil and ordered security forces to seize burqas from markets and burn them after 33 people were killed in Boko Haram suicide bombings. Anyone found wearing a burqa will be arrested, tried and sentenced in summary proceedings, the authorities have stated. The Boko Haram have used female suicide bombers to launch attacks in the past by hiding explosive devices under their clothes. For more on these and other stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Capital FM Kenya. And in the comment section below, do share your opinion on what you think of Chad burning burqas in an effort to fight terror. And join Jomiano in the evening bulletin where we will be sharing your thoughts. My name is Anita Dero. Have yourself a good day.